In this problem, we're told a child on a sled reaches the bottom of a hill with a velocity of 10 meters per second and travels 25 meters along a horizontal straightaway to a stop. If the child and the sled together have a mass of 60 kilograms, what is the average retarding force on the sled on the horizontal straightaway? So let's draw what's going on. So we have this hill, right? So imagine this is our hill. And so at the bottom of the hill, right? So at the point they cross the bottom of the hill, the child in the sled, or the child on the sled is going to be traveling 10 meters per second. So at this point, right, they're going to be going 10 meters per second, and they're going to travel 25 meters along a horizontal straightaway to a stop. So they're going to travel along this straightaway for 25 meters, and then at this point, they're going to be at stop, right? So they're going to be traveling 0 meters per second. And so that's going to be the drawing. Let's go ahead and write down the given next. So given, what are we told? So we know that the mass is going to be 60 kilograms. They tell us the mass of the child on the sled, 60 kg. What else do we know? So think about this like kinematics. We know the initial velocity, right? So if we set this to be the initial velocity at the point at the bottom of the hill, right? So in the beginning, 10 meters per second, right? So this is going to be their initial. And then at the end, they're going to go to a stop, right? So their final velocity, since they're going to a stop, is going to be 0 meters per second. And so keep in mind, this is horizontal, right? So they're going to be changing from one distance to the other. So what is their change in distance over this interval from 0 or from 10 to 0? It's going to be 25 meters. So the change in x or delta x is going to be 25 meters. So from here to here is 25 meters. So that's what we know. And so what are we trying to solve for? So keep in mind, they're asking the average force, essentially. And we know force equals mass times acceleration. And so we know the mass of the child on the slide, right? 60 kg. So in order to find the force, we have to find the acceleration. So what we're trying to do is solve for acceleration using these variables. So we have these variables. So we're going to use a kinematic equation to solve this. So I think the best one is v squared equals v sub 0 squared plus 2a times delta x, right? Because this contains every single one of our variables. Delta x contains a, which we're solving for, v sub 0, and v. Uh, and so, yeah, we're going to use this to solve. We just got to plug in every variable. So v squared is 0 equals v sub 0 squared, which is 10 squared. 10 squared is just 100 plus 2 times a times delta x. And so delta x is 25. 2 times 25 is 50, so it's plus 50a. I'm going to minus the 100 from both sides so we can solve for a. So minus 100 equals 50a. Divide both sides by 50. And so minus 100 divided by 50 is minus 2. Keep in mind our units, we're using meters and seconds. So it's going to be meters per second squared. So keep in mind it's negative because it's slowing down right to a stop. So that's our acceleration. And so keep in mind what I said earlier, we're solving for force. We know force equals mass times acceleration. We know the acceleration, we know the mass, we can plug it in and solve. So the mass is 60 kg. Make sure when you do this, your mass is in kg and your acceleration is in meters per second squared. In this case, it is, but if it's not, you have to change it, right? Because if you're trying to solve for newtons, so acceleration is going to be minus 2. So force is going to be equal to 60 times minus 2, which is minus 120. And so this is going to be in newtons, right? Because we use meters per second squared and kilograms. So the average force is going to be minus 120 newtons. So this right here is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.